Day 17 and we're walking uphill. We're going from really uphill. We're going from Ribadiso to Hmm, Ahua. It's called Arua Ahua. Arua Ahua. 21.5 k's today, which is half a k less than yesterday. We did 22 yesterday. Big day. But uh, there's so many pilgrims up ahead. Got maybe 36 k's to go to Santiago, and it's like well, way too many people for my liking. Anyway, get that. Two more days, we'll be in Santiago. Bella come on the Deli Mango. Bella come on the Deli Mango. I love these little cars in Spain. They're so cute. This one's advertising for this restaurant that we're just in front of. And I don't know if you can see the pictures, but they do pulpo, the octopus, and the bocadillos, the bread rolls with the local ham, and the tortillas, the uh, like the quiche, potato quiche. Pretty cool. It's a Seat 600. Cool little car. I want one. I don't think there's too many of these in New Zealand, but yeah, I could handle having one for a weekend. It'd be good fun. Still see these little shrines every now and again to lost loved ones. Maybe 25 k's to go to Santiago now. Um, we've got, I don't know, 5 k's or something to go today to um, make it to where we're staying. And then, yeah, the rest tomorrow. See how we go. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot more people on the track. Uh, the track's up and down, undulating, quite wide and open, as you can see. Not that exciting, but, yeah. Eucalyptus forests on both sides of the track which is a bit unusual makes you feel like home but yeah we're getting there <laughs> Camino de Santiago bit of a wrap up for yesterday day 17 uh, it's actually day 18 now, but yeah, day 17 was a bit of a shit day, to be fair. I didn't film much. Probably this will be one of the shortest episodes of my videos. But uh, it was a long day of walking. There's some pretty walking, but there was also some crappy stuff. But there's just so many people, and I just felt like slapping them to get them out of the way. But the main thing was the food, right? So we stopped at this restaurant at lunchtime. It was packed. It would have been 100 people there. Very loud Spanish people, which is their country, fair enough. All having a great time. But uh, yeah, we studied the menu, figured out what we wanted, which is no easy feat. And it's all in Spanish and uh, Dad doesn't know what he wants to eat and we're trying to figure it out along the way. But we get to the till at the front and um, I'm speaking in broken Spanish, a bit of English, and tried to order my food. And the chick behind the counter was a bit rude and said it's going to take at least 50 minutes, more than an hour. All in Spanish, very fast. And I was trying to figure out, she said 50, which is 50. And I was trying to think if she'd said Kinsey, which is 15 minutes. Anyway, she got frustrated with me. I just said, oh, okay, just give me three beers and I'll figure it out. So we drank our beer. But after we placed our order, then other people stepped up. Well, after we tried to place an order and got rejected, other Spanish people stepped up and they got their food within 15 or 20 minutes delivered to their table. Anyway, we walked out in disgust across the, the road to a place that had hardly any people in it. I was like, I'm over it. And uh, Robin 
went and placed the order in this one. She got a couple of beers and then she placed an order just for some dips and I don't know, a bucket beer or something. And she confirmed with the chick, yeah, yeah. And the chick pointed to the menus on the item, yeah, yeah. 20 minutes. And um, Robin came and sat back down again. 20 minutes passed, half an hour passed. I think we got to 40 minutes. Robin went back up to say, uh, what about the food? Oh, yeah, sorry, forgot all about it. No food. Like, what the hell? So, we paid for the beers that we'd had, another two beers, and then um, walked out. And then we decided to walk another half an hour to our hostel where we were staying, because there's a restaurant just around the corner with really good ratings. It's in the middle of nowhere, this little town. So we figure the restaurant will be fine. It's open till four. We get there at 10 past three. Line up, there's like 20 people lined up, but um, we get to the front finally and uh, order in Sping Spanglish. But the guy basically says, no, nah, kitchen's closed. It's only like 10 past three. I'm like, how can the kitchen be closed? But uh, he was, he was saying kitchen's finished. So three times in a row yesterday, we tried to uh, get food and got rejected. That's bizarre because like the rest of the month that Robin and I have been walking, we've had no issues. People have been lovely. But here on this last stretch to Surrey, there's a million people and it seems like the wait staff don't give a shit. Like they're just over it, dealing with all the pilgrims. And they seem to prioritize all the Spanish people, which is fair enough, it's their country. But yeah, it's just disappointing. I wouldn't have had, I, I would like to just erase yesterday altogether from my uh, Santiago de Compostela experience. But anyway, such is life. Now back to present Trev, day 18, walking on, trying to catch up with Dad. He left a few minutes before us, but I'm worried because uh, we haven't seen him and there's a few different options on the track. He may have walked the wrong direction. We are day 18 of walking with my dad. So 18 days from when we left Leon with Dad and we've done more than 300 kilometers now. We've got about 25 k's to Santiago. No, less than that, must be 22 k's to Santiago. Uh, we're gonna stop just short today, maybe three or four k's out of Santiago, stay the night and then walk in fresh in the morning and celebrate having uh, completed our, our massive walk. Nice cool morning this morning, shorts and t-shirt, but the days are hot now. Uh, don't need any thermals or any long sleeve gear, it's really warm. Uh, we're getting to that far western, sort of northwestern part of Spain. Really nice, beautiful temp. Good time of year to be doing it, which is uh, beginning of June 2024. Mm. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs>